My name's Catherine Parsonage. I'm the Freelance Fellow at Bath Spa University. I'm part of the pilot scheme of the Freelance Painting Fellowship, which is run or kind of done in partnership with the organisation, the Freelance Foundation. They're an arts organisation that was set up in 2015, and their kind of strapline is making arts education accessible for all. They have a brilliant programme called Artist Teacher, where they work with people kind of in education who also maintain a teaching practice. And then they also are running this fellowship programme that I'm a part of. So there's three freelance fellows. The other participating institutions are Manchester Metropolitan University and Brighton School of Art. And so each institution has a fellow, which is me. And so basically I've had this studio for the full year. And I've also been doing a number of teaching hours within that. And so the arts organisation Freelance is really focused on supporting artists, but also supporting artists with an interest uh, in pedagogy. So Anecdotes and Attitude is the title of the solo exhibition that's just closed uh, in the Penny Gallery. So as part of the Freelance Fellowship, each artist has an exhibition to kind of close the year, their experience. And so Anecdotes and Attitude is a title which is based on kind of my interest in art history and is based on thinking about the importance of anecdotes uh, in terms of how we understand or might remember certain moments of art history. So this idea that the kind of the gossip or the kind of the tawdry biographical details that happen around a bar or in a restaurant, often those tales are the ones that really enliven or kind of create certain art historical narratives. It's an exploration of that idea, but it's also kind of with a kind of a critical eye. And so the idea of the attitude comes through this thinking around how genius or kind of particular macho attitudes are often the kind of the strongest ones through kind of art history from a kind of a Western um, white and often male perspective. What I wanted to do with the exhibition was to kind of really test something out and I wanted to do a show that I could feel like I could learn something from. So for example, rather than doing quite a classic hang um, with paintings kind of in a linear way, I decided to do this kind of triple layer salon hang. And so I tried to really use the show as a testing space and that's also felt like a really important thing to do within kind of an arts educational institution in that I guess kind of modelling practice in terms of testing something out, not knowing and trying to think about or kind of reflect on what that outcome is. So in terms of the responses, a lot of students might have been quite surprised at this certain type of hang. And then also I worked a lot with kind of different technicians and with um, Owen Bryant from Reprographics to kind of create the press release. And thankfully because of the freelance support, I was also able to commission a writer to kind of write a text for the show. So I think it also in that way for, for students, what I hope it did was kind of show how how these different elements kind of come together in terms of a text, a map, a very specific kind of conceptual hang. It was just this lovely opportunity to test something out and to also kind of show all the students that I've got to know over the last year kind of what I've been up to in the studio. A lot of what I've done this year and certainly bringing everything together with the exhibition at the end, none of that would have been possible without working really closely with all the technicians. And I feel like Bath Spa University, more than any other university or institution that I've been a part of, has incredib incredibly easy access to facilities and to support. And so the, the technical support that I've been able to use and throughout this year has just really, really helped me push my practice forward. There's something quite special about Bath Spa University.